Hey, what's up, guys? It's 2019, and somebody asked me. I'm having lunch right now, so I'm going to be having lunch while we make this video. Somebody asked me, how do you protect a Warcraft map in 2019? None of the tools work. How do I make my map protected? Let's make a map that you can't edit, okay? I'm going to make a unit called Ha Ha Ha, You Can't Edit Me. I'm going to put this in this map. Ha Ha Ha, You Can't Edit Me. I'm going to make it You Can't Edit This Map, okay? Now, here's how I'm going to do it. First off, let's make sure we know the map works. Because you got to be able to test once we make it. And we're going to name it. Ha, ha, ha. I can't edit. Okay. So this is my map I made. You can't edit this map, right? It's going to be protected. I'm going to put, like, a ton of Antonidas ghosts. And you're not going to be able to remove them, okay? Trust me. You won't be able to get rid of these Antonidas ghosts. So we're going to put this map here. Uh, Warcraft Maps. I'm going to name this. Ha, ha, ha. You can't edit me. Right now, right now, you could edit it, right? I mean, it's a Warcraft map. Why can't you edit it? But what you need to protect a Warcraft map, okay? And trust me, this really works. We need to protect this Warcraft map. And as you go and get, you go and get, um, cat, uh, cat meme. Okay, you Google cat meme. And you find your favorite cat meme. I think, uh, this one right here, this looks pretty good. We're going to copy that image. That's a good cat meme. Let's see. If, yeah, let's save image as. Okay, so I got cat.jpg in my downloads folder. It is perfect. Make sure it's a good cat picture. All right, it opens right up. So now rename this to... Uh, actually, not yet. Let's go to let's go to our map where we're working on it, right? To our maps folder. Um, we could even make a folder called uh, Protecting Maps. So that we know... Like, this is our folder we're going to use to protect maps, right? So, get your cat JPEG in here and rename it to war3map.wtg. Right? Now it's a WTG file. Now, what you do is you go into downloads and you run uh, MPQ editor. Now, if you don't have that, right? I just got it from Googling MPQ editor. And Google gives you right here, Lattice Labs Azula. You can just click to download. Bing, and it'll download right off that. But I already have it, right? So. Here's my MPQ editor. So now what you do is you just go to maps and you go to your, your particular map you want to protect. So like in my case, uh, it's called Ha Ha Ha, You Can't Edit Me. I'm going to open this map and I just click add file. Okay. Now add your cat meme that's a WTG. Okay. Push yes. Close the, close the MPQ. Close the MPQ editor. Close all that. Now if you go to the world editor, the cat will protect your map. Okay. Just wait for this. I'm going to go to open. And we're going to open, uh, ha, 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 you can't edit me. And it says, trigger data missing or invalid, so I can't edit it. But you can still play it, right? Cat meme doesn't stop you from playing it. If I go in the game, and we start up the game, and I go to single player, and I do create game, right? And we go in here, we have, ha, 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 can't edit. And if I start this, we're still going to have all the Antonidas ghosts, but you can't get rid of them. Okay. I'm going to protect map, right? I mean, I protected this map with a freaking cat. My cat is stronger than you. You can't open it. Because the world editor says you can't. Trigger data is missing or invalid. And that's how you protect the Warcraft 3 map. Alright, great. Hope you have a good day.